Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark, right here on the checkpoint. As you can see, uh, we're still in the dark. So what we're trying to do is find the door to get out of this place. Oh, the bed's over there, so that means we got a ten- what was that? Cargo pants? It said cargo pants somewhere, I swear it did. Oh, I'm really excited about these cargo pants. Where are they? Come on. Come on. That's metal shelf. That shelf. Maybe it didn't say cargo pants. I'm gonna have to go back and look. <laughs> um, wow, that's embarrassing. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is light a match to see where we are. The thing is, I don't want to lose these things. Are there definitely no cargo pants? I'm just checking. All right, where am I? I was in like the worst corner. Ah, oh, a metal container we can search. I didn't know this was here. Oh, that's very useful. Sweet. Okay. There we go. Cargo pants. I told you. I wasn't going crazy. Yes. I will take those. Sir, so, we have to leave this way to get out of this place. I'm just trying to figure out my, my bearings. I'm going to have to light up another match. My God, it's this part of the room is treacherous. Oh my God, I swear there's a lot more stuff in this area now. So what was that? A jerry can and can be used for lamps or something. There is definitely a lot more stuff in this area now. This was not here before. Unless I'm just stupid. Okay. Um, it's probably still... Um, oh wait, no, it's getting morning. It is getting to the morning, so we should be alright. Um, I want to see what this jerry can does while I'm here. Let me see, where'd it go? Mr. Mr. Can? Mr. Jerry? Con contain fuel for oil lamps. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have an oil lamp. I don't think. I'm almost certain that I don't. Alright, let's put on these cargo pants. We will double layer up. Well, triple layer, apparently. Actually, I think that's my undies. Actually, I'm not sure. Let's put those on. Oh, yeah. We are the most stylish survivor on the block. Look at this. Look how cute we look. Well done, Will. Okay. Uh, we still got those burns, which we're probably going to have to fix soon. Um, but now, let's... Uh, Let's go outside now, then, and let's see what's going on. I want to check how my, uh, my body's doing as well, if it's ready for this trek. Come on, little wolfie, load up the screen. You can do it. Hopefully there aren't any wolves outside. Oh. Well, I can hear something being attacked. Um, I'm going to go back inside. <laughs> I could hear something being attacked. You guys heard that, right? Okay. Right, so if we can just pass some time, perhaps. I need to find food. I know we can do it. Oh, we need to find food. Luckily, we do have some... A variety of things. Let's have the beef jerky. Here we go. And let's just lay down for a bit. Um... Advanced time without the benefits of sleep. Okay. Well, that'll just use the same amount of calories, right? Yeah, well, if not more. What well, is getting to day? I wonder if it's worth sleeping just one hour and seeing if it's sunny then. Let's try it. I'm just gonna sleep one hour and see how we are. Okay, we are up. Okay, it's a lot lighter, which is a good thing. Let's put away this. All right, this is great. Great news. Um, okay. Leave the trailer. Please, no wolves. Come on. Um. I can definitely hear footsteps. Oh, it's the Bambi. Hey, Bambi. Oh, 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 that was my stomach. Okay, I was like, what is that? Okay, let's take the stick. Because we can use this for... Things. Of that nature. We can use it for uh, torches, I'm sure. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow the path again. So where's it going? Down here? Alright, let's do it. We should probably have a torch ready, just in case we see a wolf. But I'm hoping we see the wolf before they see us, and we can kind of go from there. Um, that's what I'm praying anyway. Okay. So what's down here? What's this sign there? Milton? Alright. Milton, that sounds good. That sounds like a nice place. Or if it's just some sort of cult town, and we, uh, we get flayed and eaten. Eaten live. 
Although if you've been flared, I don't know if you're still going to be alive. Um, right, okay. So we have some fences, that's a good sign. I mean, if you see fences, you pretty much know you're near. <gasps> a church! Okay. Lots of gravestones, but nonetheless a church. Any wolves there? There's a deer over there. Oh, is that a wolf? Oh, you bugger it is. Um, right, I'm going to run straight into here. Oh, God, it was after me. Ha! You son of a gun. Oh, sweet, a flare. Okay, so we can scare off some wildlife with that. That's good. We might have to use that on these wolves. I don't want to, but I think we might have to. Um, right. Uh, don't think there's anything else. In oh, another flare. Okay. Sweet. We should probably equip these. We'll equip them once we get outside. Okay, here we go. Use light. Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, they're just... Okay, let's throw it at them. Yeah! Yeah. Ah! No! Oh, no! No, please! Oh, no! It was going so well. We were doing all right. We're not going to be able to do it. No, nah, no. Nah. God damn. Ugh. That was horrific. Am I... Whoa, what? Um... I'm good, apparently. I mean, I'm not. I'm pretty much dead. Look at all those injuries. Right, you son of a gun. You ruined my mittens on my boots here. I'm gonna shove this straight up your butt. Get out of here! Oh, God. Ah! Okay, there we go. Sweet. So I think it'll just stay away from me as long as I've got this up. Okay, I've been very badly injured. Um, do I have any... Okay, antiseptic. Oh, well, that wolf healed my burns, apparently. I'm gonna apply the antiseptic to my wolf bite. It didn't do anything. Okay. Uh, let's harvest some of this. We do need the meat. Oh, we don't... Can we afford those calories, though? I don't think we can. We're gonna have to eat a little bit. Let's harvest this. I've got a hypothermia risk. Well, if we're in that church, maybe we'll, um... Oh, what's going on? What's up, dude? Uh, am I hungry? I faded into the long... Di well, isn't that vague? I have no idea how I died there. I guess I just ran out of energy? Uh, okay, let's reload the last checkpoint. I mean, yeah, I guess I just ran out of energy or something like that. Something along those lines. Church looks like it could be a good shelter. Okay. What do you mean? Oh, the church is there. Okay. Uh, do we have the... Okay, no, we've got to go back into the car. And I'm going to run straight into the church. Because we can't waste time, um... Like, uh, harvesting that deer. I am going to get the, um, things there the flares, because they were very useful. I'm also going to check the trunk. Okay. Okay, this guy's coming around here. Time to act is now. Let's do it. Get the flare out. Leave. Light it up. Ah, oh, you know! Come on! Ah, oh, That's so annoying. I can't exactly light it while I'm in the car as well, can I? Take that, you son of a bitch. Are we still good? Affliction, but blood loss. Not good. My god. I'm at very low health now. Look at that. Those growling wolves are really annoying. Did I throw the flare on the ground? Oh, I can't. I can't. Hold on. Okay. Oh, there's some antiseptic there, apparently. Where's my flare? Okay. Here we go. I'm going to die again. Look at me. Get out of here. Screw you guys. These guys are horrible. Okay. Don't speak like that, dude. We're going to eat some food. Don't worry. We're going to be fine. Uh, we're going to eat this. We are going to stop my blood loss somehow. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to apply this to something. I'll apply it to the wolf bite. Why didn't it do anything? That's so annoying. 
Okay, let's apply it to the neck. Then we're gonna make a bandage. Oh, okay, it didn't do anything, that's fine. Um, bandage. Begin crafting. Oh, I'm dead. My god! Died from blood loss again! Actually, well, last time, I don't know what I died from. Alright, this time we're just gonna run straight into the church. <laughs> we have to try all, uh, all things. I'm still gonna get the flares. Uh, what? Okay. Yeah, I'm still gonna grab the flares, but I'm just gonna run straight into the church. Because these wolves are getting me every time, even though I've got the flares. Can I get in there in time? I'm sure I could. I guess we could just give them a very wide berth, but... I want these flares, damn it. Alright, here's one. Here's two. I'm gonna see if I can light it while I'm in here. Okay. Probably gonna gas myself out, but it's fine. Yeah, stay back. Sons of guns. Come on, get out of here. Okay, maybe not. That one's pretty stubborn. I'm just gonna come on over this way. Leave you guys alone. Oh, what's here? A bench? Okay, I thought it was like a... There'd be something on the bench, perhaps. Alright, we're in. Let's put away this. Um, please stop. I don't, I don't want to use the flare anymore. Can I just unequip it? No, I don't want to drop it. I just... I want to keep it, obviously, but, oh my god, we're going to have to leave it for a bit. Okay, let's put away these matches. Is there anything in here? A book. A source of knowledge. For now, something to burn when you're free. That's probably the Bible. Um, that's probably the Hurley Bible. Oh, the pastor's no. Let's have a look. Um, where'd it go? Here it is. No, no, that's the cloth. What happened to the pastor's no? Can I... Check it. Is it in journal, maybe? Here we go. Examine. It's with a heavy heart that I inform you. The Archdiocese's decision to withdraw me from St. Christopher's Parish due to a lack of activity. Though there have never been much... Uh, there have never been more than a few of you in recent years. Your dedication to the church and support of my efforts here will not be forgotten. Henceforth, services will be available via Skype only. Continued Latin lessons also. Please accept my apologies. God bless. Father Francis McGill. Okay, Francis McGill. I'm going to take that. I'm going to burn that. Um, oh, a bed. Oh, sweet. Oh, yes. This is great. More matches. Books. Oh, fantastic. This is great news. Water bottle. More books. I think that's another flare right there. Churches are known for their high storage of flares. Uh, pillar, a granola bar hidden under there. I saw ya. Um, ooh, we could break that down. Ah, we don't really have enough calories for it. We need to manage that sort of stuff. Okay. I uh, don't think there's anything else in here. Will my flare just burn forever then? Cotton Turk. Okay. Not as warm as wool, but better than nothing. Can we double layer that as well? To protect us from the... Cold? Is that gonna... Adds up. Our warmth bonus is plus six. Windproof bonus is plus three. Protection is 13. That could be a bit better, I think. Um, okay. Right. Now what? Anything else around here? I'm just going to give it another little scan. Some more cloth. Useful for bandages. We should probably make those if we're going to come into contact with those wolves. Um, what's this? Oh, some mittens. Okay. Might be able to double layer those, actually. In fact, I... Oh, no, no. We can't. We can't. Alright. What do we have around here? Nothing much. Another book. All of this is going to be very useful for warming ourselves up. Brilliant. Okay. Cardboard box. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is eat this granola bar. I'm going to eat this fresh rabbit. And then we are going to cook some rabbit. Because that should get my calories up a little bit, I think. We do have a campfire here. So, uh, let's just check. Can I check how my calories are? Like, somewhere? Calories, 799. That's a good amount. That's a good amount. Okay, we've got a 95% chance of success here using this method. So, hopefully this pays off. I mean, if it doesn't, what the hell? 95%. I would be like the most unlucky boy in the world. I'm going to take a sip of water. While this is going on. If I can reach it, there we go. 
Let's see what's hip hoppity happening. <laughs> it's looking good. The great holy fire. Hopefully it doesn't set the whole church ablaze. Okay, brilliant. Uh, add a bit of fuel. Here come in the sticks that I've uh, mentioned. Might be worth taking a torch as well. Actually, we do have flares, so we might as well use those. Now, I want to... Oh, we don't have any... I need to harvest the rabbit, don't I? Of course I do. I should have done that before I started cooking. Okay, let's harvest this. Um, wait, we can't get any meat from that? Okay. Uh, the other one, then. There we go. Take as much as we can. I think the fire's going to burn out in that time. Oh, barely. Hold on. Okay, we add, need to add a bit of fuel. Let's add some of that. Let's cook this thing up. Cook. Maybe then after that a bit more fuel. Um, it doesn't actually say how long it's going to take, so I'm going to add one more. There we go. And we're getting our temperature up. Getting, we're going to be sorted for food for a bit. This is good. I swear I picked up some beef jerky. Should I cook the moldy venison? I mean, we might as well. It'll probably give us some serious illness. But, I mean, it's better than just accidentally eating terrible, you know. Oh, no, it seems to be all right. Yeah, it's 89%. These are 100%. Okay. Right. Okay, let's head back out. I think our flares ran out. Yeah, it's burnt out. Okay, well, that's not very useful, is it? Um, right. Let's head out there and try defend against these wolves. Hopefully this works out for us, because we could really use that deer. Although I guess we can sort of move around them if we wanted to. Let's just see if there's anything at the graveyard. Ryan Smith. It's probably a developer, isn't it? Or maybe it's an actual person that's died. Oh, God. I'm going to join him in a second if I'm not careful. I'm going to light this. Just in case. Ah, I saw ya. You son of a gun. Get away. Oh, God. Should I throw it at him? Yeah, run off, you little bitch. And you. And you, mate. Yeah. All right. Let's keep moving. They've scampered. I swear we've checked this area, no? There was an area a lot like this before. Okay, what's in here? We'll have to search the glove box. Nothing. Visors. Nothing. Nothing in here. Okay. Keep going, Flair. Alright, we want to get a move on. If we're going to get to this town before the end of the episode, which I do want to do. All right, now we have some time. I'm going to check the trunk on this one. Nothing. Okay. Anything in there? You can't actually see from outside, I don't think, like, what's in there, so... The only way to do it is to actually get in and search. Although, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, nothing. Let's leave through this way. Just to be a bit more efficient. Okay, I think my stomach is a bit rumbly. A bit hungry. Not gonna lie. Anything in this trunk? It's locked. Requires a pry bar. Interesting. Um, anything in this one? I think most of these vehicles are just empty now. As we're getting closer up here. Maybe it's because, I don't know, there's a society nearby. And they're, um, they've taken all the stuff. Some pallets. I mean, that could be right. That could be correct. Milton. Okay, so we've made it. Welcome to Milton. Established in 1911. Well, it's a lovely place. Is there actually like... I just tried to jump then. Are there actually buildings or is it just like an abandoned place? There are some... Cables. Ah! Okay, we seem to have made it. It's a good old Milton. What if the entire population is just wolves? They're like wolf people. Right, I better put this away, right? No, not like that. Come back. Okay, how do I put it out? Okay, I'm just going to put it away. Hello? Okay, it won't let me. I don't want to drop it there. Ah! Someone's speaking to me. Uh, well, I do want to... Oh, 
just equip it. Why not? Hello, anyone out there? Was that me saying that or someone else? That's me saying that. I sounded like someone else there. It's abandoned. Oh, God, there is a corpse over there or something where those things are circling. A lot of this place has been boarded up as well. Smoke from a chimney? Well, I can't see because I've got this big-ass flare in my face. Oh, here we go. Let's have a look. We open the door and it's just a wolf dressed as a guy. It's like, hello. Hello. I'm definitely not a wolf. You can trust me. And then just, like, lunges at my throat. I wouldn't be surprised with this game. Hello. hello. Oh, here we go. Oh. Holy sh Wait. Hold your fire. It's, I'm not a wolf. Come closer, stranger. Oh, okay. She's okay. blind. I mean, if you were wielding a shotgun, Why? it's probably a good idea not to be blind. I saw the smoke from your chimney. How did she get her firing license? Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander, outsider. I don't recognize your voice, and you haven't left like the other cowards, so... Must be a mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. Well, neither do you. You can't I see. I, I crash in the mountains nearby. Do you even know where you are right now? <laughs> I shouldn't be this ruthless, this poor old lady. Listen, could you maybe point that gun somewhere else? You think... Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Oh. Make the wrong move. Say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I mean, you are very no. close. You're literally pressing the barrel against my crotch. Um, the others all gone. Oh, no. Nah. If you're here, things must be worse than they thought. Oh. Uh... Oh, this is cool. Who are you? Okay, my name's Mackenzie, and you are- I thought I was gonna say something. The liars call me Grandmother. Sir, I should- You should call me Grandmother also. Right. So if everyone left, why are you still here? They're afraid of me, and even if I could have left, I wouldn't. I was born here, I'll die here. This, the, the, this is the way it has to be. The way it has to be? You wouldn't understand loyalty, Mainlander. Uh, where am I? Where's this place? This town? This is Milton. A small town in the mountains. You're far from home. But where are we on Great Bear? My plane went down in bad weather and... You're wherever you're supposed to be, outsider. The maker in his great wisdom has put you here with me. But what is his purpose? What is yours? I'm looking for someone. She crashed with me, but I think she walked out. Would have been when the lights first appeared. I'm not interested in your story, outsider. I'm cold. Prove your worth to me and I'll think about telling you what I know. My fire will be out soon. Fetch me some firewood and then maybe we'll talk more. Uh, who are the others? You said everyone is gone. What happened here? Five days since the lights in the sky, five days of hell. First they thought they'd be safe and then they realized they weren't ready for the end, so they fled. None of them will make it. How do you know? I mean, you can't. See? No, I can't, but I know what I hear. Sooner or later, all their words, all their lies, find their way up to me. Okay, more. Oh god, there's a lot. There is a lot of things to ask. This is a big house, you live here by yourself? None of your business, outsider. Just stay out of my private things and don't try to steal from me. Trust me, I ain't going anywhere near your private things. Good grief, that'd be gross. Or you'll never find out what I know about your friend. Uh, you son of a... Okay. Sir, fuel, where can I find some? Surely a big strapping man like yourself can find some firewood in a forest. Right. Take the axe in the woodshed out back. If you must, I know some townsfolk cut wood on the edge of town. I'll be back. Uh, finished? Come back when you've sorted out my firewood situation, if you come back at all. Okay, trust. A hard thing to come by these days. Many people you meet will be suspicious of you, but most of them have needs they may not be able to fill without your knowledge. Uh, without your help, rather. I just read that bit ahead of time. Helping them will earn you trust, which will in turn unlock useful knowledge, locations, items, and more. Check the character's trust entry in your journal to learn more about them, their needs, and how they can help you. Okay. Um, 
Thanks, Grey Mother. Mwah. It was amazing how they communicated entirely without moving their mouth. Um, oh, so I guess if we search these, we steal from her, and that's going to hinder our trust. Anyway, I think we're going to wrap it up there. Um, if you guys enjoyed this episode of The Long Dark, make sure you leave a like. If you enjoyed it even more, make sure you leave a subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, it would be lovely to talk to you guys and gals about this game so far. This has been Steve. That has been The Long Dark. Checkpoint complete.